G'day to all those out there in the land of YouTubia. This here is the face of Ken Goldstein from Ken Goldstein's Photography, better known as North Queensland Ghost Hunter. Now he's another one of these fraudulent ghost hunters promoting his videos as the real deal. Sets up these little stunts, films them, then puts them up as though he's got poltergeists in his house and in his basement and even in his car. And a couple of other videos I was quickly able to duplicate Ken's effects without too much trouble. Actually, here's Ken's video from the 15th of February, showing things flying out of the cupboard. Funny how it actually looks remarkably like Ken's off-camera throwing things into the cupboard, and then just reversing the footage. And that's exactly the way I produced uh, my ghost video with the bread leaping off the bench. Now, the interesting thing about this video is that when I posted this, Ken had posted his famous bed flop video where the mattress stands upright from laying on the bed, and he quickly removed that because of how obvious it was that he had just reversed the footage. And then there was a few other videos where masking was done and a few people uh, showed how these, these, uh, these effects are actually achieved. Obviously people out there are going to say, well this doesn't prove that Ken doesn't have a ghost, and while I agree with you that yes I can produce the same sort of effects, that doesn't disprove Ken has a ghost in his house. But uh, where Ken slipped up was he actually used some of the audio and manipulated it from one of his clips into another. So uh, here's the video from October 16th and you can clearly hear Ken and what he says. Now why Ken's actually making these videos I have no idea. Initially I just thought he was uh, making them as a bit of a gag. However, I quickly changed my mind on that when the continued reassertion that these things are real kept coming out of Ken. Not only that, but any time someone would post uh, the reveal, if you will, of how he was doing these videos was quickly deleted and, and uh, blocked from posting on, on his site any further. I started to think maybe Ken's got a different agenda. Maybe it's the money he's trying to make from the videos. It's not a great deal of money, but it's something. Or maybe it's just something to massage his ego. Who knows? Now, ultimately, I don't really know why Ken's making the videos, and frankly, I don't really care. What I actually care about is this promotion of irrationality that he's continuing on with. We have enough problems in this world without idiots like this adding to the problem or compounding the problem. And what really ticks me off about Ken is his drive to censor anyone that goes against what he says. Now we live in a democracy and the very thing that underpins democracy is freedom of speech. Now since the beginning Ken has been deleting posts, blocking detractors and so on. Actually his manner in this respect is completely contemptible. An email that was sent to me shows some of the, uh, some of the language that Ken likes to employ when dealing with others. Now Ken, I know you're probably sitting there watching this video, you're getting ready to put in the DMCA against me, the infringement notice, uh, to have this video pulled down because I've exposed the charlatan and the fraud that you are. Now before you do that, I'd recommend you go and have a look at the fair use clause and what that actually means. Now you can obviously have a look on the US uh, government websites for it, or you could just do a search for YouTube and there's plenty of videos that will explain how you're allowed to use material, copyrighted material, under the fair use clause. Also I'm going to request that anyone who believes in freedom of speech to mirror this video on their channel and uh, send it around to their friends as well. Because ultimately Ken, if you do proceed with that, that uh, course of action, I will fight it. And, as history shows, I will win, just like every other person on YouTube that has tried to limit the freedom of speech of others through the DMCA infringement notices, has lost and eventually has their channels pulled down. So I don't really mind, because at the end of the day, freedom of speech underpins our democracy. And if you can't handle criticism on your artistic endeavours, well then stop doing it. Now Ken, I know you're probably watching this video and you're already getting your little hot finger... Oh, I wasn't talking. How rude.